cooking, cooking, cooking with Amy. Hi, everybody. Like mac and cheese? I know. I love it. And my kids like it, too. I mean, who doesn't like mac and cheese? So this is a really fun recipe. Mac and cheese minis. You want to see the kids light up when they come home from school and they say, what's for dinner tonight? Tell them you're having mac and cheese cupcakes. And yeah, they're going to get a big smile on their face. This is just a quick, easy recipe for homemade mac and cheese that you actually bake in muffin tins. So the first thing I did was I sprayed the muffin tins uh, cups with a little bit of cooking spray. And then I'm sprinkling just some dried Italian seasoned breadcrumbs into the cups. What this is going to do is um, help get the little mac and cheese muffins out of there. And then you take the excess, once you've just kind of sprinkled it around and coated the cups, and you just dump out, dump out the extra breadcrumbs so there's not too many in there. Okay, so you just get a light coating of the breadcrumbs. That's what you're looking for. All right, so now I've got two eggs. and some milk, and I'm beating that together. And I've cooked up some elbow macaroni. And you want to deal with this when it's very, very hot. That is the key. So this just was boiled and drained. And to this, we're going to add our egg mixture, some butter. And because the macaroni is hot, that butter is going to melt right away. A little bit of sour cream, a little bit of black pepper, a teaspoon of Dijon mustard, and don't worry, the kids won't taste the mustard in there. That's just going to give it some great flavor. Mixing that together, and of course, we've got some cheese. I'm just using shredded cheddar cheese. Some of it goes in, and we're going to leave some for the top. So our muffin pan is all ready. And it's easy to use just like a little scoop, measuring cup, or if you have an ice cream scoop, just to get the mac and cheese right in here, into the muffin cups. And I think one of my favorite parts about homemade mac and cheese when I bake it is some sort of a wonderful crunchy topping on the top. This is going to make enough for 12, by the way. About 12 little mini muffin mac and cheese. They're not muffins, but you know what I mean. Mac and cheese baked in muffin cups. So down goes a little bit more shredded cheese over the top. I also make some mini meatloafs that I do in cupcake tins, and this is really fun to serve with this. And then you can do cupcakes for dessert, and you've got an all-cupcake dinner. How cute is that? And then these are just some panko breadcrumbs, or a Japanese breadcrumb, which really um, crisp up nice. You could also just crush some buttered crackers over the top, or some more of those just dried Italian breadcrumbs. This is a pretty quick bake, about 20 minutes at 350. And then you just pull them out, let them cool for just a minute or two, run a knife around the edges, and they'll pop right out. They look so cute on a platter. And everyone's just going to get a, a kick out of these. As I said, this is a, a perfect recipe for Lent um, because, you know, we're always looking for new different recipes without meat for Lent. These really are a winner. Recipe for these mac and cheese minis you'll find on our website. And you know me, I'm always cooking, even on the weekends. Make sure and watch Good Day Wisconsin Sunday. I'm making a really healthy, delicious recipe, a uh, one skillet turkey taco skillet. It's fantastic. It's like tacos in one skillet. And all new Living with Amy today, so hope you'll watch. I'm making a terrific tuna casserole. See you then. Pete and Rachel will be right back. Stay with us.